Now I'm going to show you the traverse function within Laser GIS for ArcPad. We're going to stay within the Laser GIS toolbar and navigate over to Project Setup. In Project Setup, we want to go ahead and do a quick traverse. This actually closes our last map. It's going to start us off with a new map with a simple points layer activated. We can also capture our Z value elevation at this time. But for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and choose no. Goes back to the map. The layer is activated. Now I'm going to go ahead and set a reference point. Go to the drop down menu of the reference point. I'm going to set a reference point by map tap. This is where I'm going to set up the edge of my boundary and start mapping in a traverse. Go ahead and tap anywhere on the map. And a symbol is going to pop up and it's going to show you where my reference point is. Next thing I want to do is I want to go to my next dialog box. Choose the bullseye icon to bring up the dialog box and verify a few things. I want to verify we've got a traverse, a foresight, and we're going to choose GPS off. I'm happy with my measurements I've been taking, so I'm going to auto accept my measurements. And also, I'm going to, we're just capturing point features, so I'm going to auto accept those features. Go ahead and accept that. It goes back to the map. Now you're ready to take a, your first traverse shot. Navigate the laser rangefinder into HD mode by using the mode buttons. Take a measurement to my traverse po first traverse point. Everything is running in the background of ArcPad. Auto accepting the measurements and auto accepting those features. Laser GIS notifies me that I need to go ahead and pick up a point and occupy my, that first traverse point. Go ahead and mark my, my, my position here and move to my traverse point. Now I'm on my second traverse point. I need to take the sh consecutive shots around the perimeter, perimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and take a third traverse shot. But this time I want to show you a different feature within Laser GIS. Go ahead and aim at the third traverse point. From here I want to go to the Show High Dot icon. And I'm actually going to remotely fire my laser rangefinder. I'm going to do this in case you're afraid of pressing the fire button and the laser rangefinder might move. Everything works in the background again. It captures that point. Now I want to go ahead and continue around the perimeter, capturing traverse points until I get to my last shot. Now I'm at my last traverse point, and I need to close my traverse. I need to take a, a measurement back to my origin. Go ahead and take a last measurement shot back to the origin, which actually closes my traverse. Now from here I want to verify a few things with my traverse. I want to get some length measurements. I want to get an area calculation and actually verify the quality of my traverse. Within the Laser GIS toolbar, go ahead and choose the Show Hide icon and then tap Get Length Area. Go ahead and just tap on a feature and I get all my calculations. I get my length and area calculations. The first one is the line length. That's the calculations of the line around the perimeter. I've got a closed area calculations. That's the area of my closed traverse. Then I have a traverse closure error. This is a ratio that's going to show me my quality check of that traverse. I verify everything is correct. I hit OK. Goes back to the map. That's showing a quick traverse within LaserGIS for ArcPad.